Welcome to the channel. Today we are going on a journey through the human body. Did you know that your body is a huge, complex system made up of many smaller teams? These teams work together to help you do everything from running, to eating, to thinking. Each team is made up of smaller units that have special jobs. In this lesson, we'll learn how these units, called cells, team up to form tissues, organs, and systems. Every part of your body relies on each other to stay healthy and do its job. Ready to explore how your body works like a well-organized team? There is an Edpuzzle link for this video in its YouTube description. I will also add the answers to all questions at the very end. Now, let's get started. Chapter 1, What are Cells? Imagine you're in a giant city where each building has its own job. Well, in your body, these so-called buildings are tiny little units called cells. Cells are the building blocks that make up every part of you, from your hair to your heart. Each cell is super small, but it has an important job to do. Some cells help your body fight off sickness, while others might help you move or give you energy. These cells don't just do their work on their own, they work together. Let's pause for a check for understanding. 1. What is a cell in your body? A. A building in a city. B. A tiny unit that helps your body work. C. A part of a plant. Chapter 2. What are tissues? Now, imagine that each cell in your body has a job. But just like in a team, it's better when people work together. When a group of similar cells team up, they form tissues. Tissues are collections of cells that work together to do a bigger job. For example, muscle tissue helps your body move, and skin tissue protects your body. Every type of tissue has a specific job depending on the cells that make it up. Here's our second check for understanding. 2. What is a tissue? A. A group of similar cells working together. B. A type of muscle in your body. C. A part of your brain. Chapter 3, From Tissues to Organs Now that we know about tissues, let's talk about what happens when tissues come together. When different tissues work together, they form organs. Organs are special parts of your body that perform specific jobs. For example, your heart is an organ made up of muscle tissue, and its job is to pump blood. The stomach is an organ made of muscle and other tissues that helps break down the food you eat. Time for another check for understanding. 3. What happens when different tissues work together? A. They form organs. B. They break apart. C. They stop functioning. Chapter 4. Systems of the body, working together. Now that we know about organs, let's look at how they work together in systems. The body has many systems, like the circulatory system, digestive system, and muscular system. These systems are made of different organs that each do their own part, but they all need to work together to keep you healthy. For example, your circulatory system, which includes your heart and blood vessels, works with your respiratory system, which includes your lungs, to bring oxygen to your muscles, helping you run, jump, or play. Your muscles burn this oxygen to create energy. This is not the only example. The nervous system works with your digestive system as well. The nervous system tells the digestive system when to activate each organ to make sure that your food processes properly. Your body has many different organ systems, and they all work together. In fact, these systems rely on each other to make sure everything in your body works properly. Time for a check for understanding. 4. What do different body systems do? 
A. They all do the same job. B. They work together to keep the body healthy. C. They never work together. Chapter 5. How Everything Works Together Imagine you're playing on a soccer team. Everyone on the team has a role, some are defenders, some are attacking forwards, and others are goalkeepers. But everyone needs to work together to win the game. Your body works the same way. Every system, organ, and tissue has a special job, but they all rely on each other. For example, if you run, your muscular system moves your body, but it needs energy from your digestive system, and it needs oxygen from your respiratory system to keep going. Everything in your body is a team, and when the parts work together, your body can do amazing things. Here's one more check for understanding. 5. Why do the systems in your body work together? A. To keep the body healthy and working properly. B. To make your body stop moving. C. To help you sleep. Chapter 6, The Big Picture, Cells, Tissues, Organs, and Systems. Now, we can put everything together. Your body is made of cells, which form tissues. Tissues come together to make organs, and organs work together in systems. These systems rely on each other to help you stay healthy and do all the things you love to do, like running, eating, breathing, and thinking. Here's our final check for understanding. 6. What is the correct order of how the body is organized? A. Systems to organs to tissues to cells. B. Cells to tissues to organs to systems. C. Organs to systems to tissues to cells. Conclusion So, next time you think about your body, Remember that it's made up of a bunch of tiny cells working together in a huge team. Just like a soccer team, every player has a job, and when everyone works together, your body can do amazing things. Thanks for watching. We hope you learned something new and we hope to see you again. Goodbye.